Hallo alle. For those of you who don't know, I've been teaching my daughter German since she was born. I only speak German with her and my wife only speaks English with her. This has been great so far and it has helped me to practice my German skills while teaching her. Research shows over and over again that kids' brains have more gray matter and more connections when they learn a foreign language early in their lives. They also have higher IQs and they learn a bunch of other valuable skills along the way. Not to mention that they can speak a foreign language, which is pretty awesome all by itself. That being said, there are a few things that have made some awkward situations with my daughter. She is currently about three and a half years old, almost four, and while her German listening skills are great, she doesn't really speak all that much German. When she does speak German, however, there are some strange things that can happen. Number one, speaking German to non-German speakers. Normally this only happens to my wife, but occasionally it happens to other people. It catches people off guard when the toddler they're speaking to calls an airplane at the local park a Flugzeug, or when she talks to some strangers she's playing with that she needs to go nach Hause. It isn't really that big of a deal as I'm usually around so I can explain or translate for her, but it does seem a bit odd to whoever she's talking to. Number two, coming across words I don't know. This one is actually a perk as well, because I'm not a native German speaker. Sometimes when I'm speaking with Sophia, she will ask me what something is, and I won't know the German word for this. Luckily, in the time of technology, I can just pull out my smartphone, and I can look it up on either the Leo Dictionary app, which I've got a review of over here, or I can use a different app. It's usually some thing that they didn't teach me in school and I didn't have any reason to know while I was in Germany. For example, the German word for pacifier is schnuller, which I have no reason to know until I had a kid. I never knew the German word for hand tools, so now I've been learning them as every time I work on something, Sophia asks me, what's that? Number three, translating books while reading. Obviously, some of our books in our house are in German, but the vast majority of them are in English. I could read them in English, but I prefer only to speak German with Sophia. This means that I have to read the story in English in my head really quickly and then translate the sentences into German so that I can tell her what's going on. Truth be told, I sometimes paraphrase. Sometimes I even have problems that you saw in number two because I didn't know the word for fireflies. Number four, awkward conversations with strangers. For those of you who don't know me very well, I'm not a terribly social person. I don't go out of my way to have a conversation with people I don't know, but if you speak a foreign language that isn't Spanish with a child and they respond appropriately, some people will want to talk to you about it. This conversation has become relatively routine to me at this point, but it still is an awkward conversation. What language are you speaking with her? German. Oh, so are you German? No, I just teach it for a living and I wanted her to learn it as well. Oh, that's nice. Here's a really random reference to one of those words that I learned that was in German a long time ago, or that guy I used to date who was German, or my brother-in-law's cousin who also is apparently a German guy, or that one guy that dated some other girl who might have been German, but I'm pretty sure it might have been like Slovakian or something. Uh-huh. It's good that you're teaching her German so early. You know, those kids, they just soak up those languages like a sponge. Uh-huh. Have you seen my video about children learning languages? I'm contemplating telling you all of this information right now, but that would require me to talk to you more, and let's face it, I don't want to do that. Number five, Danglish. As I mentioned before, Sophia understands German pretty well. She can understand it to the point that she will converse with me, but she will almost always answer in English instead of in German. When she does use German, it's usually only one or two words in the middle of an English sentence. This usually isn't too bad because the other person usually understands what is meant through context and the other person learns a German word. It's a win-win. Sometimes, however, it becomes a bit more strange. For example, the word bright in German is hell. Sophia knows this word because when the sun is shining in the window of the car and she is complaining about it, I might say something like, Die Sonne scheint heute sehr hell. And then she goes into preschool and says the Dinglish sentence of something like, The sun is hell today. You can imagine what kind of problems that might cause. When I ask her which marker she wants to use, I might say, Willst du damit oder damit schreiben? Then she'll point to the marker and say, damit. That's my list of quirks of having a bilingual kid. Do you have a bilingual kid? What quirks have you found? If you don't have a bilingual kid, would you ever raise a bilingual kid? What methods would you use? Do you think I'm doing it right? Let me know in the comments down below. Das ist alles für heute. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.